Hello everyone. Today we are going to tinker uh, a crane, a toy crane I bought from abroad which has a uh, forward, uh, forward and a backward, left and right and also there is a function to uh, lift the crane just like that it's a wired uh, control I just repaired the controller as you can see it's already damaged so for now we are going to convert it to a wireless remote control toy car or toy green so for now we are going to disassemble this one remove the line controller and we are going to use uh, an Arduino and a motor controller so this is the inside of the toy this motor controls the, the crane and this 2 DC motor controls the uh, right side and the left side wheels so we are going to disassemble this one what we have here is an Arduino Uno that will be used uh, as a main controller a motor driver hat with 16 channel servo controller and it can, it can also function as a 4 DC motor controller and we have here an HC-06 Bluetooth slave module we are finished constructing our conversion of the RC car from line control to Bluetooth remote control car so we have here a six lines around the car it's for left and right motor and also for the crane and this one is coming from the TB6612 uh, 4 motor and 16 servo uh, Arduino shield we have here a uh, bluetooth it's a the 06 and below is arduino uno r3 as our microcontroller so now we are going to program it so i already connected the usb to our computer and i'm already finished in uh, coding our program so what we have is we will upload the program to our Arduino Uno and wait for it until finish after done uploading we can test our finished product so now we are going to test our finished product so we are using a, a terminal so now we are connected with the bluetooth so we can what we can make is uh, to make the crane go up by sending an up command we can hold we can also make it go down and hold. We can move it forward, stop, or backward, stop, left turn, right turn, stop, right turn, stop, forward, stop. And that's all. Thank you. Hello. So now 
we are finished coding our program for our remote control car so this will serve as a walkthrough to our program so what we have here is we have a declaration of include software serial this will serve as a serial for the bluetooth declare our software serial pins for the receiving and transmission this declare a global variable for the bluetooth receive command we declare the pins for the motor 1, 2, 3, 4 that we'll be using in setup function we initialize the serial to be at 9600 bits per second baud rate and also our bluetooth serial port we declare the pin mode of our motors so this will be PWMA will serve as a speed controller for motor A Dear, Dear A will serve as a directional is either clockwise or counterclockwise I think if clockwise will will be 1 and uh, counterclockwise is 0 so with WMA motor A motor B motor C motor D but motor D will not be used for now so we default our program so we make we make sure that our RC car will be default at full stop and the green of our RC car is at full halt so after doing all that we print a serial in our monitor serial setup done in the loop function first we read the receive command from each CDA 06 if there's an available command we, s we save it in our global variable command here we are checking if the command is available and if available we put this function command the trim to remove the line feed attached uh, from our bluetooth terminal so if the command receive is f which means forward so we print back a serial in our serial a vehicle forward command then we made a forward function else if the po uh, receive command is B which means backward so we print also a vehicle backward we send a command backward so also for the left or the right for the stop for the crane up crane down and also crane hold and if the receive command is none other than the above we print back a command unknown back to our serial monitor and we make sure that the command is stop and hold so this serial that print command receive uh, this is for our debugging to make sure that the command sent is what we desire so we put some delays so the below are the commands or functions this is for the function of forward so we write in the PWMA a maximum of PWM we write 1 so our motor will turn clockwise or forward and also for the B motor B for the right side so for the backward is opposite of forward only <coughs> for turn right uh, <coughs> turn right so motor A uh, 
is running is running while motor B is stopped so that's why we put 0 here in the PWM in turn left is the opposite of the above and stop both PWM are 0 and move up so we are only dealing with one motor so it's either up or down high or low if halt we write 0 to stop the motor and no, this now is not included so that's all